Hi, everybody. It's Mark Russian of markrushin.com. It is Sunday, March 7th, 2021. Sorry, I've been away for a little bit, been doing things. And so this is Real to Recon for Artist number 15. What about artist communities? Well, we'll talk about that. What is Realtor Recon for Artists? Well, I'm Mark Rushton of markrushton.com. Someday I'd like to have a studio workspace outside my house. It could be a separate home. It could be a rented or purchased commercial location. It could be an outbuilding on an acreage. I just don't know. This could be way in the future. It could be in a big town, and but it might be in a small town. I'm currently in Iowa, so most of the properties I feature will be located in Iowa. I contend that artists such as musicians, painters, writers, etc., should not live in expensive big cities or areas. They can help it. They have a bit of income from their work. They should consider moving somewhere cheap, maybe even in the sticks, and owning property rather than renting. It would give you time to focus on your work and building your career. And I think using Realty websites is a great way to do some advanced reconnaissance, and that's what I do. We're not going to look at Realty websites today. <laughs> We're going to look at a couple of websites here, and uh, two of which I'm familiar with, been familiar with over the years. Uh, the first is the Cherry Building in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And you can find out information here at the thorlandcompany.com website. And uh, they have some artist suites available here, 563 square feet, second floor studio, uh, 945 square feet, uh, open ceiling, uh, Here's another one here, 915 square feet, 30 foot factory skylights, interior work sink. Like, again, perfect for the right sort of person, but not perfect for me because look, looky, looky right underneath here is the announcement. And yes, uh, open hours have been reduced from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And uh, so it, does that mean you can't, you can't? Be in your rented space after 5 p.m. Uh, and, and all this other stuff. It was the same thing with mainframe. I think this was also the same sort of thing with the mainframe studios in Des Moines, which we'll feature here in a little bit. So, uh, yeah, this is like the first problem that I would have with uh, these sorts of things, which are fine for other people, but not. I'm not interested in this sort of stuff just because. Yeah, you may be amongst other artists. They may have events down there, but uh, you are at the whim of a of your landlord. You may not be able to be in there when you want to be in there. And in the case with this building, this building, this building flooded in two thousand eight, uh, along with the rest of Nubo. So, and half a Cedar Rapids. You have to be careful. Have to be careful about where you're thinking of putting your studio. Um, and again, this isn't a knock on the cherry building or, or the location or anything like that. It's just, it's just not for me. It would not be for me. Um, um, yeah, it's, it's a nice building. Yeah. It's probably, yeah, I've been to various spaces in there many times over the years. It's, it's a nice place, but personally for me and what I would want to be able to do, that would not be my thing because, because, you know, there, there are certain things I want to be able to do. Um, and I've bandied this one around for, for years here. I would like to have a little bit of a personal space in there, you know, maybe, maybe a hot tub, maybe a sauna, sort of, uh, you know, that sort of thing, maybe a little exercise room of some kind. And I would have enough space where you, know, you, th you think they're going to let me bring, I, hey, can I bring a hot tub in here? How about a sauna? I need, you know, I need a 220 outlet. You can do that at mainframe, but it's for kilns. And <laughs> yeah, I'm building a, building a sauna in here. <laughs> Probably not going to be allowed. So that sort of thing that I, so yeah, if I'm going to be looking uh, for a place for me, it's either going to be probably going to be like a house. It's going to be an outbuilding. It's going to be a, like a commercial location somewhere, um, storefront on a street. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I, again, this is just it, it, this right along here. Yeah. Open hours have been reduced. Uh-oh. Can't go in. What if I have a day job, right? What if I have a day job? Can't go in there during the day. Wait. 
What am I paying rent for? So, so, so there's that. There's that. So we'll, we'll get off there. Again, I'm not knocking this. It's fine for somebody who doesn't mind adhering to those rules. That's okay. You know, it's, it's like, it's like the people who sign up for, uh, you know, they, they buy like a condo or something like that in, in, or a house in an area with an HOA. Like you sign that document, you know what the rules are. You can't be putting, you know, uh, you can't have all your, you can't have your 200 foot flag. You can't put a bunch of junky cars sitting around. You can't leave the refrigerator on the front porch. You can't, you can't leave your monster truck parked over the, over the curb. No. Well, I can't, uh, it's not American. You signed that paper, man. You know what you're signing. I was under duress. All right, I'll get away from this here. And we're now we're on to Mainframe Studios in Des Moines, which I have visited a number of times. And it's a it's a it's a nice building. It used to be uh, like a call center. It used to be part of CenturyLink, uh, Ma Bell back in the eighties. It's just it, uh, it. I'm. It's amazing that they were able to repurpose this building, just because I, I'm not a fan of this kind of architecture. It is oh so eighties or seventies even really, it's that you know it's a it's the, it's the columns and it's the poured concrete and it's the glass and the not glass and, and this is a really, okay here's your, uh and it, yeah so it's down here. This one is right at nine hundred Kio, nine hundred Kiyosaka Way in Des Moines, and just up from downtown right by all the hospitals and it, uh, honest to God, uh, the, the parking is not that good. That was like the first thing I noticed. I thought, well, if I ever, if I ever moved to Des Moines, <laughs> yeah, this ain't it. Cause the parking, just the, you go down and then you're, I can't even imagine like bringing things in and out of the building. And, and it just, it was not for me. I would want to be able to, you know, pull up to a back door and bring my stuff in, or, you know, you've got a house or an outbuilding and you just get open the garage and, and there you go. Or uh, a storefront, small town, downtown, my stuff's going in. It, it's not going to take that long. I don't want to deal with, I have to park way down there and then I got to go grab a thingy and then this, and then the freight elevator and holding doors and no, not, not for me, not for me, maybe for other people, not for, I'm not going to do that. Um, so there's the main page and then let's go over to, uh, so this thing is opened up in phases and honestly, there's a huge amount of people wanting spaces here because they have like an application process. So they've been doing the floors over different years and everything like kind of, I don't know whether it's like sort of a piecemeal sort of financing it, but uh, this, this place is going to fill up and it's, a, you know, it looks like a nice community, right? And so yeah, phase one's done. Phase two opens in March, 2021 and they have an application process. And they also talk about year 2021 rent pricing. And they talk about a basic fiber Wi-Fi connection, general liability insurance, security camera monitoring, and access to a fantastic community. Okay. And then you have your, your uh, tier studio rates here, which you would sign a lease on. And so a 350 square foot studio is 223.13 a month, plus utilities. The utilities um, Add about another 70 bucks a month or so, a roughly 60 to $70 a month on there. And then there could be adjustments uh, later on. And then, of course, custom build out needs, insurance, annual adjustments, uh, one year leases here, and all that sort of stuff. It's pretty simple. And honestly, it's, it's, it's very reasonable. However, the number of 350 square foot studios is, is it's kind of small. When I looked at it, it was like most of the things that were available were a bit bigger and a bit more uh, pricier. And that's fine. I don't want to share space with anybody. 
I would not want to share space with anybody. So, um, and I, I know of people who do that sort of thing. And if it works out for them, that's great. But I, nope, 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 don't, I, I will pay to avoid. Right? Um, and of course, you know, on the different types of st studios here, whether you have uh, walls, whether you have floor to ceiling windows, there's a noise factor. And then I, I guess I would have to read the, the, uh, uh, you know, what if you had somebody that was like in the next space to you that just decided to, you know, crank the whatever music at, you know, <laughs> screw you volume. And how, how do you manage that? Right. What if they're friends with the so-and-so, right? Yeah. I no, 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 not going to do that. So look at that. Final floor of studio is expected to be complete late 2021 20, or early 2022. 20, that's good. That's that's cool that that Des Moines has this sort of thing. I think there is another sort of building on the south end of downtown that's that's not exactly organized like this, but has largely is f filled with artists. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know that one off the top of my head. I think it's all full anyway. But uh, um. Yeah, you get all this sort of stuff, and then and then the artists. You got lots of different uh, artists in here. Yeah, look at this: uh, hand blown and stained glass art, painting, multimedia. There's uh, wow, fine art supplies, uh, jewelry, a radio station, music production. I think there's a music studio in here. Letterpress, photography. And it goes on and on henna and tattooing photography, more photography, mixed media, wreaths and decor, mixed. Oh, there's a shirt made out of something illustrators. So there's actual companies and then there's actual individual artists on that sort of thing. Uh, and, and that's great. That's great. But as for what I want to do and the space that I kind of want to have, this sort of thing would not work for me. But this is cool. It's a good thing to visit and go around and, uh, you know, get to, you get to meet a lot of artists. They, they do have, uh, was it the first Friday of the month or something like that? They have an event down or had an event. Thanks. Things have changed. I get I get their I get their email and uh, I'm also a subscriber to their podcast. I don't think there have been any new podcasts for a while, but um, um, yeah, you've got a lot of potters, portraits, clay sculptors, makeup as art. Wow. A cartoonist. So yeah, there's just there's just going to be more and more and more down there, and you know that's great, but that's not that's not for me. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a space for me. I'm looking for something. Eventually, I think it's going to be probably somewhere between 800 and 1500 square feet, depending on a lot of different factors. And, uh, and whether it's going to have a st storefront, yeah, maybe it doesn't necessarily have to do that. It does have to have, it would have to have a space for, um, I guess you would call that clientele, right? For invited clientele. Um, I would want a room dedicated to a sound recording. I would want a room dedicated just to creating art. And um, uh, finishing that art, you know, framing that sort of stuff, and uh, and, and then of course a, a, a personal room, exercise, maybe a hot tub, maybe a sauna, maybe a climbing wall. <laughs> Who knows? How about one of those um, the swim the swim pools, the lap pools, the swim? Those are kind of big, right? 
just get get the big garage door and just and and the forklift and drop it in there. I'm swimming laps for for two hours. See you later. <laughs> That'd be fun. That's what I'd like to have. And so yeah, I'm not. This just th- these are great. I, I'm so glad that these are around, and and they are reasonably priced to build an artist community. But um, yeah, there's so many things about this as far as the space and access and it just i i want to be able to uh have some control over the space that i'm renting (laughs) can i just have a little bit of control a little control i'm a control freak (laughs) so anyway that is the real to recon number 15 what about artist communities and uh for me uh no no, flat out no, no, never would do it. But th- they're nice. They're nice. They're they're good for certain situations, and they're good for certain for certain people. You know, um, I don't have. I I'm not anti that sort of thing. It's just it would not suit me. I I know I would have problems with it. I know I would just once I get signed it, there'd, there'd just be something that I would just like where. Why can't I put up the 200 foot flagpole? <laughs> but, you know, again, if you know what you're signing, you, you should know what you're signing. You should, you should read through absolutely everything there and look around and see, see where the problems are. Right. Cause they're for, for me, there's always, there's going to be things that you have to watch out for. And, you know, at, at this stage of my life, uh, you want to be able to, how do I say it? Um, have the things that you want, right? I don't know. All right, that's it for today. It is Sunday, March 7th, 2021. And uh, we'll do a Real to Recon next week, I hope. Talk to you later. <laughs>